hi to Chaco. Okay, so we have Sonic, he got undead. We again, well, two undead. This time Sonic and Bizarre that got the double undead. On the other side we have double orc. Okay, a nice undead first orc game, guys. Best of five, yes, it's best of five. So we have five games, or maybe up to five games. Uh, there's a random hero here for um, Happy. We have a random hero here for Sonic as well. Uh, not Sonic, this is Cash. Sonic, let me see. Oh no, I was right. Sonic is indeed also getting a random hero. And here at the top, we have Bizarre also going for a random hero. So a lot of different uh, random heroes here for these players. This Acolyte is mining this uh, this haunted gold mine. Let's see what is going up. Tomb of Relics is going up. This peon is scouting. This peon is scouting. And now everyone knows it's an orc versus undead. This Acolyte also scouts. He sees, uh, hey, he sees Cash. Cash is building grunts. Happy is also building grunts. Here we see a pretty late graveyard, but of course, you know, it's in, he didn't know he was playing against double orc. And this is even super later graveyard here for uh, Bizarre. Okay, we have a demon hunter here for Bizarre. And we have a, a plot mage here for Sonic. Those are two super strong heroes. We have a death knight here for Happy, which is not that useful. I mean, he's playing against double and dead. He can coil the heroes, the demon hunter and the blood mage. And he cannot coil any of his own units because, you know, he's not in dead. His ally here. Also, what the, what the fuck? <laughs> the worst heroes for Team Happy. The two possibly worst uh, heroes they could have gotten. Of course, they can coil each other. They can coil the other Death Knights. That is if they have mana, though. Uh, the Demon Hunter there gets coiled and he mana burns. So, two of the best heroes against two of the worst heroes. Let's see how it goes for Team Sonic. And uh, let's see how it goes for Team Happy. This Acolyte, he cannot even coil the Acolyte because, you know. Even though it's, it looks like he's alive, he does not take damage from Coil, and he does die. Demon Hunter is quite beautiful, this Death Knight. He could buy Clarities at least in this matchup, and Healing Solves. Yeah, that's what he buys. I mean, uh, what the, why, why does he buy it though? Why does he buy Clarity? This is such a waste of money. Like, does he need, does he need mana? What does he even need the mana for? Just to coil creeps down faster. He's sur he's surrounded now. Even if he gets mana, he just gets mana burn again. I'm, I'm not sure. Like the Death Knight took more. The Demon Hunter took more damage than the Death Knight. Skeletons don't do that much damage compared to Grunts. And the uh, Demon Hunter was already a bit damaged. Of course, we don't have easy healing for uh, Team Yellow. They don't have healing solves. They have to wait till they have statues. There's a Speed Skull. Can they kill the Demon Hunter? Uh, Demon Hunter should probably defend himself instead of just dying. At... No, maybe it's fine. Oh, he's dead. He's just dead. Nice job by the Death Knight, killing that uh, Demon Hunter with the Scroll of Speed. And he's healing now. He's healing himself. What happened here at the other side? The Blood Mage, you know, he's doing just fine. So we have Mana Burn and Siphon Mana. So these Death Knights are never going to have mana. Not that it matters, because, you know, what do they use their mana for? They also have uh, Unholy Aura. I mean, two Unholy Auras is kind of useless. So, I mean, it's kind of nice, I guess, if you go base race. Like, Death Knight into Mad Rages. Maybe that's what Team Cash uh, should do. Both Death Knights get Unholy Aura. Both players get Mass Raiders. And you can, uh, your Raiders will move max movement speed. And you, you have just so much control over the map. That, that sounds like a brilliant plan. But, uh, you know, we'll see what they do. Hello, Micro Show. Welcome back. A player's forces are under attack. Player's forces are under attack. Well, these uh, these ghouls are going to creep a bit. He's almost at House of the Dead. He's building his graveyard here. We have uh, also almost at House of the Dead. They need those statues, and then they'll be super powerful. And of course, the orb. They need the orb as well, but. You know, statues and the orb, and then they're super powerful. Here comes the Death Knight with some grunts, four grunts here. And a second random hero. Maybe he gets uh, someone he can heal with the Death Knight. Or maybe he gets someone who's useful. Oh, he gets into the Acolyte line. Acolyte circle, I guess you call it. Because they're standing in a circle. This Acolyte takes a lot of damage. Does he survive? Oh, no, he died. Oh, Flamestrike. What? He 
He took Flame Strike. Well, I guess you don't need Siphon Mana against two Death Knights. So uh, he didn't pick Siphon Mana. He'll pick it second, I assume. No banish. I mean, there's another uh, piece here being cancelled. This Demon Hunter defending the main with some ghouls and skeletons. And there's another Flame Strike. But the Blood Mage, does he have staff? No, he does have boots, though. And this base is open over here. The Peons tried to block him, but not quite. Or did they? I'm not sure if they tried to block him, but he gets out anyway. We have uh, a Death Knight here trying to block him, but you know, the Blood Mage with the Boots of Speed should be fine. Oh, we have a Fire Lord uh, for. Um, a player's forces are under attack. Hmm. Maybe Siphon Man. Um, Sy How do you call the spell? Soul Burn is just good to, to shut up the Blood Mage from stealing your mana. St stopping the Blood Mage from Siphon Manaing. Uh, because the lava spawns, you know, they're not gonna be great against two players that are playing on that. They are definitely massing destroyers. Both players going double slaughterhouse. I mean, makes a lot of sense if you're playing against double orc. Uh, so here we get double wyvern. And raiders here for cash. Okay, happy going mass wyvern. Cash going. Oh, we have a beast master, so more summons. Okay, so we have lava spawns and, and piggies that can be eaten by the destroyers. So, so far I still want to say much better heroes for Team Yellow, but do they get their destroyers up in time and do they do enough damage with the destroyers or are they just gonna roll over and die? Maybe we have a Solar Blood Mage here, Solar Demon Hunter here. I guess they don't need more heroes. A player's forces are under attack. Is this a uh, tournament random race plus random heroes? Yes. It's not a random maps though. So even though they call it fully random, it's not not completely true. They're still playing with random uh, they're they're playing with not random maps. This level six troll warlord is going to die, and that means level two beastmaster and a level three death knight. Does he pick level two coil? Yeah. Where are the destroyers? He's building statues. He's almost a black citadel. This player already at Black Citadel, Sonic at Black Citadel. Scanning the destroyer upgrade. How many statues does he have? Is this him? How can how come that Sonic went fiends and he's stacking faster? It's probably because of that grunt run by. Killing a lot of acolytes. Can you change the observer mode to change the colors? Mm, I could, but why would I want to do that? I don't <laughs> that that just becomes confusing. If you have four different colors. This uh this statue goes down. This uh, statue is also a two, losing two statues is very bad. This great hole will go down for sure. We will have the death knight here with uh, the grunts and the raiders just killing this uh, this altar. By the way, random is R and D, not R D M. <laughs> okay. I you know when I made that when I wrote that I knew you know I wasn't sure if that was correct or not. Like to me both works. If I see any of those. Being written, I read this random. Okay, I fixed it. Nice. Uh... Isn't that beautiful? Now it's uh, R and D. Okay, we have some bad riders. This uh, this fiend is dead. Demon hunter over here. A player's forces are Kodo. Isn't it RNG? That's that's something completely different. Demon Hunter is hunting down raiders with ghouls. Fire Lord and the Death Knight are gonna defend, and the Demon Hunter does TP out. This, uh, this ghoul dies. We have a bunch of statues here. Does he have the destroyer form? I assume he does. Here we have one destroyer. He lost so many stat so many statues earlier that uh, you know it's just one destroyer and three statues on the floor. 38 supply. Oh, do we? What do we get here? I mean, this just this army. If he gets some, uh, if oh, he has the orb. If he gets the destroyers up, this should be easy peasy fight against uh, Cash's army. Uh, Happy, however, he has uh, bad riders, wyvern. They're just perfect uh, destroyer counter. Not the bad riders. I mean, he gets the destroyer there, but the wyvern are just perfect. And the blood match, he has flame strike. Remember, so you know, and not banish. Okay, well, 
Demon Hunter with the destroyers just hunting down grunts and raiders. These grunts, they die so fast. There goes a grunt. There's a coil on the, the Demon Hunter, but, you know. Almost irrelevant. Nice and snare there on the uh, destroyer. Oh, is he going for Burrows? No, he's first going for the uh, raiders. There's a nice bad rider. Oh, he's killing a Burrow. Demon Hunter uh, will have to TP out here in a moment. And that's what he does. Kills another grunt. You know, grunts are just uh, easy. Where, where are the wyvern? Okay, here are the Wyvern. They didn't TP with the rest of the army there. And uh, over here we have a Blood Mage trying to flame strike stuff to death. And like the peasants to uh, peons. I mean, they didn't even take that much damage. Maybe these peons. Here come the destroyers, gonna help. But we have Wyvern with even uh, poison, poison. And those are just so great against destroyers. And uh, there goes another destroyer. Destroyer, destroyer's dead. Oh, he TP's out. Maybe destroyer can. Uh, what can he do? He's flying. He's running for his uh, little destroyer life or unlife because he's uh, undead. Blood Mage doesn't even have the orb. What are they gonna do against the wyvern? The wyvern are just so super duper powerful. The demon hunter is strong against the wyvern though, but don't think he's enough here by himself. When there's plenty of units still on the ground to deal with as well. And two, uh, two death knights just coiling down this demon hunter slowly. Does he have mana burn level 2? Where, where are the mana burns? Come on, you have mana burn, right? Maybe you want to mana burn and uh, death knight. There it is! He mana burns and he TPs out. And involved with we have an attack here, but these guys, these uh, towers, the burrows, have extra fortified armor. There's a flame strike. Blood Mage does retreat. We have a fiend over there. We have uh, abominations being built here for Sonic. Abominations are, of course, a counter to Wyvern. We only have uh, four Wyvern, but those are so strong. Just four Wyvern. When both players mass destroyers. Here come the Wyvern. There goes the Destroyer. There goes the Fiend. We have two statues as well to be uh, killed here. Oh. Demon Hunter picks up... Uh, did he just pick up Boots of Speed? No, Claws of Deck plus 9. So he does even more damage. The Demon Hunter is pretty strong. If he finds the Wyvern, you know, the Demon Hunter will be fighting the Wyvern, the 5 Wyvern. And, uh, you know, maybe Sonic instead wants to be fighting against Cash. Players' forces are under attack. Some switcheroo would be nice. The Beastmaster is level 3. He has a flute of accuracy, by the way, as well. So this Wyvern now do 4 extra damage. The Blood Mage, is he, is he taking, uh, he's taking a lot of damage? Is he going to die? He can buy a healing potion. Or just hide in the background. It's fine as well. The uh, one Fiend will go down. The Destroyer goes down. The Abominations, I mean, they take some damage. Okay, he's going for the ghouls first. There's a flame strike on like uh you know nothing he cancels it siphon mana there on the oh we have a flag attack here by bizarre and of course happy tp's out and this uh, destroyer they takes a lot of damage though he does survive and what we have here we have some bad riders raiders and bad riders and some grunts taking this base this expansion is up and running now a town is under siege. there's bizarre he would lose some Destroyers to the better riders. Oh, there's a web. Yeah, that, that one the better rider. Are they switching to mass fiends? There's a coil on the demon hunter. He's just trying to kill these better riders. Uh, fire soul burn there is a level one or level two. There's level two soul burn on a level three. Be uh, a fire lord, and that means uh, oh, there's a mana burn. Oh, the blood mage is here as well. How did he get over here? I'm not sure, but there's the abomination. He probably walked over two fiends as well. Demon Hunter is being focused, but he has boots and he can just run. Is it, oh no, but he's going to die. He gets ensnared and, you know, there's a mana burn, but uh, actually he's not going to die is what I meant to say there. The Fire Lord does TP out and, you know, Minimo over here. We have happy killing units here with the Wyvern. He's, uh, he's killing uh, Acolytes, of course. Uh, uh. Oh, the Acolytes are dying. There goes another Acolyte. There, you know, this Eclipse is also dead. 
you know, the, the tower there goes down, this, this fiend here is dead. I think Team Yellow is just like, okay, after your base, Sonic, you know, we don't need your base. Time for the counter attack. And uh, this base now also has the fortified uh, burrows. It's also getting Wyvern. Uh, Blood Mage, you know, he's like, uh, you know, he's like very long hit points. He's dead. Coil kills him. I guess the coils were good for something. Just killing those uh, Blood Mages and Demon Hunters. We'll see D GG here. There it is, GG. Can we uh, see GG from uh, Sonic as well? Like, maybe. Oh, no, I guess. Yeah, sure. GG. Team Hap Happy and Cash win the first game in this best of five. Maybe if they get a main races or something, like Happy is human. Right, uh, Sonic got Orc and you know Bizarre got Elf, so they're switched, so they know how the other ones should play. Uh, Cash got his main race, Orc. Oh. What I'm trying to say is, if they couldn't win last game, how are they going to win it this game? You know, it's it's going to be difficult. This uh, town hall is going up. I mean, the town hall is up. It's building peasants. So we have uh, human orc against orc and night elf. Races don't matter that much, right? It's hard to just say anything from this just yet until we see the heroes. There is a beautiful first random hero. There's a wisp. And uh, another first beautiful random hero here for Sonic. There's a peon. And another first beautiful random hero here for Cash. It's so many random heroes. It's just everyone going for the random hero. And there's a footman. Oh, there's a shop here for Cash. What heroes do we see? Do we get some superheroes, some shit heroes? We do have Hunter Soul here, so he does go for Hunter Soul with a Paladin. Okay, his, his ally gets a Naga. Naga and Grunts, Paladin and Hunter Soul. Okay, we have a Tinker here for Happy. Happy is, uh, you know, Tinker. Oh, a double Tinker! <laughs> double Tinker. Last game they got double Tinker. <laughs> And this game they get double tinker. Okay, nice, happy, and uh, you know, cash. Nice. The Paladin, he, he's gonna harass the tinkers, and the Naga is gonna help harass. Mm. Oh, a tome of XP. The, the tinkers now level two. He has extra movement speed. That helps a lot, actually. The extra movement speed, the extra damage is. Kind of not irrelevant. Two extra damage. And um, I forgot what else he gets. Yeah, the skills, the other skills got a bit better. Uh, because of, uh, I'm talking, of course, about the engineering upgrade. We have a grunt over here. This, uh, this, this tinker, he walks super slow. This one walks super fast. Look, S fast, average. This tinker, though, is being slowed down by the, by the Naga. Double Tinker. I, I wonder if they go for the base race strategy this game. Because Tinker is amazing at base racing. Oh, he's being slowed. Tinker is so slow. Is he going to... Uh, yes, his speed score. He should be fine. There's a pocket factory. Uh, meanwhile, over here we have a Tinker keeping. That's Happy Stinker. Uh, this gun now is being slowed. Oh, these hunters can block him and kill him, etc. Oh, there's a block. Nice block there by Bizarre. Beautiful blocking here. Oh, he lets the uh, Grunt go, but he can block more or just kill it or do anything. There goes the Grunt. Oh, ah, holy light there. This is the first time he needs to use one on the Naga. Even though she's a fish, she can still be holy lighted. She, she can still, you know, follow the light with her heart. 
We have this Huntress. This Huntress is just scouting for the expansion. Maybe even kill some units. The Paladin has to be careful though. He doesn't have uh, movement speed. He doesn't run... Uh, re yeah. He doesn't ride a tiger or panther or any other animal. We have two chickens over there. Pock, 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 pock. There's the Naga, the Naga and the Grunts. And you know, what do they want to do? They want to kill units. They want to kill peasants. They want to kill footmen. The Naga has to be careful. This Grunt takes a holy light. He's, he's fine. This pocket factory is going down fast. These peasants here are being killed by the grunts and you know the hunters are uh, killing a footman. The naga here is surrounded and she, she does get another holy light though. This pocket factory is going down the grunts are just killing the, the peasants in the back. The naga gets another holy light. She will survive for a bit longer still. Is she going to TP here in a moment? She TPs. But uh, you know there's only one peasant left here. Can I kill the peasant? There goes another footman. Don't think Team Yellow lost a single unit yet. Uh, well... Yeah, the hunters can escape. They only lost the TP. They killed like uh, four, four or five acolytes. Uh, no, ac not acolytes. Peasants. They killed a few footmen. One grunt. I don't know. I think they have a pretty decent chance here because, of course, uh, Team Happy is building this expansion. It's going to take some time before that pays off. We'll have double bestiary units here. And mass huntresses. I wonder if it's going to be mass wyvern. Wyvern are going to be powerful. Raiders are going to be fine as well. Kill the tinkers with like an snare or two. But here we have a bestiary. So if it's going to be mass wyvern. They have to be careful for, uh, about the bats of course. The huntresses here are uh, quite beautiful. <laughs> now I got level 2. I hear a farseer. Who got the farseer? We got a Farseer. Oh, here it is. Cash got a Farseer. Tinker into Farseer. This uh, Tinker almost got surrounded. This is a level 3 Tinker. You don't want to lose him. You want to lose a level 1 Tinker if you have a choice. But rather not lose any Tinkers, I guess. This Tinker has a speed score, so he, sh he should be fine. The Naga now. Oh, the Naga is also has a speed score, but if she gets surrounded, hello. Be careful. Okay, meanwhile, uh, nothing much is going to happen over there. This Grunt here takes a bit of damage. Do we have any secondary heroes yet for uh, anyone else? No, no one else gets a second hero. I guess they'll just find the Paladin and the Naga are just a, a perfect combination of uh, heroes there. Pocket Factory has been uh, killed. Oh, there's a holy light on the front. And what do we get here? Wyvern. Okay, those are Wyvern. What are these guys? That's Raiders, of course. Oh, this Riverman takes so much damage and he's slowed, so he cannot really micro much. And he's, uh, he's pretty much dead. Meanwhile, over here we have uh, militia, uh, hunters just killing peasants. Paladin, Paladin has the Devotion Aura instead of the, the Divine Spirit. Divine Shield, I mean. <laughs> divine Spirit. Uh, and he has to TP out. He could kill some more peasants here if he wants to. Like this one down. And over here. Oh, one Grunt dies there for uh, Sonic. Is that like the first unit they die all game? They lose all game? I feel like it is, right? Did they lose any other units? Of course, they used another TP, so two TPs used, but... Oh, this Grunt is probably also going to die. There's a Snare, so both the Grunts are going to die. So that's two more dead Grunts, but there are the Wyvern. Uh, we have Riverman defending, though. Is it just one Wyvern? Oh, he already had two Wyvern over there. Oh, ah, so uh, do we have a Batrider? There's Batriders, of course, and Raiders. So the Wyvern has to be super duper careful. In fact, some of these Wyvern are just going to die. Just straight up, actually. Uh, pro probably two of them are just dead. There's a Snare on one. And there's a Batrider. He might even be able to pick off the third Wyvern. This Wyvern, yeah, he's dead, you know. This one. 83 hit points. Can someone kill him? Someone could kill him. If they knew he was there, it would be an easy kill. He's just uh, flying here over the over the uh, lake. What a beautiful lake. Imagine if you're just sitting here fishing. And then you see this wyvern in the air. And he's like, shh, don't tell anyone. A player's forces are under attack. What else is he getting? Now he's going Raiders. His ally. We have an expansion up now, by the way, here for Bizarre as well. Bizarre still massing Huntresses. Tier 1. He's getting uh, armor upgrade for his Huntresses. So they will be, uh, you know, they will have an armor. He already has the attack upgrade. 
and the devotion are uh, or of course naga is level three paladin is level three this tinker is level three the farsha and the tinker tinker is level two farsha is still level one oh, nice and stare here on the grunt uh, not the grunt that's a rifleman almost the same thing he's uh, going down fast we have this wyvern that's just showing up here at the expansion but uh, there's tp Wyvern just in the back, just waiting for his opportunity to go back in. Kill peasants, maybe kill the scout tower. Oh, this uh, better has got ensnared. It's dead. I mean, this is a pretty clunky army though. Grunts and uh, Huntresses, but it does look pretty big. Oh, but we have a uh, rifleman with the uh, Skull of the Beast and we have a Kodo. These guys do so much damage. Hello. There's no way Team Yellow can fight this with their clunky little army. Like, like the Grunts and the Raiders are melee. The hunters are technically not melee, but they only have a range of 225. It's uh, you know, it's not as easy to organize. He does have a lot of archers in the back as well, though. This uh, this Naga using for lining level two is doing so much damage. This uh, oh, this Tinker has to be careful. Scroll of protection was also used here for Team Red. So the units are so buffed up. These hunters just make sure this, uh, this pocket factory doesn't do too much. This pocket factory over here is going to do a lot of damage though. There's a holy light on the raider. These raiders are beautiful. The hunters is as well. It seems like, uh, you know, this is a beautiful game. Uh, the naga is Michael back. Of course he has more holy lights. Worst case scenario, he could use one on the naga. The raiders here, Michael back. And uh, yeah, Team Red. I mean, the riflemen are just so powerful. There's no real counter to the riflemen. There's no grunts. I mean, the hunters just, just die easy peasy. The archers will also die because, you know, the riflemen have better upgrades, etc. We have the pocket, uh, pocket thing as well. We have grunts killing uh, raiders, uh, archers, etc. The paladin is level 4 now, though. And now we have level 2 uh, devotion aura, which is, of course, beautiful. This Tinker is also level 4, but he's being focused and the raiders helping out. He doesn't have a TP. Oh, he does have a TP. Think we'll have the TP. That was a beautiful uh, forces of a TP. This grunt super low. Can someone kill him? Someone did kill him. The raider over there. Two pocket factories still here. On these raiders, of course. And snaring some units on the retreat. Oh, the Kodo. Can I get a Kodo? Why is there no Kodo here, by the way, for Team Yellow? Because they don't have a war mill. Does that make sense? That makes a lot of sense. And these, uh, these grunts. Oh, the archers. Be careful, archers. Someone tries to kill you, and you know, the archers are trying to retreat. Team Yellow won't be able to fight against this many riflemen. They're 1 1 upgraded as well. There goes the raider. Uh, Paladin doesn't have anything to save himself either. With two. Pock, pock, pock. With two raiders, though, but they could maybe cancel the. Uh, kill the raiders. Oh, there's also a shop there. He could buy healing potions. Oh, this shop. Okay, buys a TP. Naga better run. Uh, this grunt, this grunt is doing just fine. Bonk, bonk, bonk. And they're going for the, uh, the shop. Let's look at the supplies here for a moment. We have uh, 60 and 46, so that's 106. Here we have 42 and 49, so that's uh, 90 and 1. So 15 different supply. Uh, Bizarre's expansion is up though, and they're not pressuring it, so that means that means Team Yellow will make a comeback. Especially because they don't have to pay taxes, of course. Actually, now uh, Bizarre went over 50. But yeah, that... They will make a comeback. It looks like uh, looking pretty good for Team Yellow now. Or at least not super bad anymore. They have two level 4 heroes. Against uh, three level 3 heroes. No, two level 3 and level 4. Is he gonna get a second hero? No. Those raiders. I wonder level 6 paladin if we're gonna see it. We'll see some revival. Uh, level 6 naga, no one cares. There's holy light on the ground. No, level 6 tanker. <laughs> Maybe we'll see two level 6 tankers uh, killing expansions. Panel of energy is... Uh, tanker's level 5 by the way. It's gonna be, I mean, do you need it for the Tinker? Usually don't really need it on the Tinker. Maybe it's better for the Farseer. The Tinker, like, just this, this limit how much mana you can, you can use. Just one pocket factory every so many seconds. Oh, these Raiders, though. Cash losing three Raiders. He TP's out. Okay, that's smart, of course. That's, you know. You know who said he was gonna lose three Raiders? Wasn't me. 
Ice just said he was gonna lose a TP. There's the another armor here for the riflemander. Two two upgraded now. Mortar teams. Double workshop mortar teams here for happy. Mortar team and it's going to castle. These these will be super mortar teams. The mortar teams might just win the game by themselves. Oh, we have cluster rockets. Is that level? What level of the cluster rockets is that? Is it level 3? No. What? He has level 2 engineering upgrade. Did he retrain or did he... I'm not sure. Maybe then this uh, pen of en energy makes sense on the Tinker, of course. So, anyone else doing something special? Like uh, grunts, raiders, hun archers, huntresses, archers. Archers are, of course, super powerful, but I'm not sure if they're powerful enough to compete against the mortar teams with fragmentation charge that are too, too upgraded and get extra damage from a Kodo. Here, we don't even have the Kodo still. Why? I mean, just get a war mill. It's worth it. Just getting the war mill is worth it, uh, Sonic. It's just so strong. One Kodo plus 10% damage. Tier 3 Kodo, plus 20% damage. But, uh, you know, I'm not sure if that's worth it. Maybe when it was still under 50 supply, it would have been worth it. He's uh, 62 supply now. Four mortar teams. He's getting two more. And there's a fragmentation shard. The mortar teams. Oh, they're gonna kill everything. Everything. Unarmored, medium armor, medium armor, grunts are gonna survive the longest, but uh, you know, if it's just grunts, good luck, grunts. The grunts the, uh, both players here have 2 2 upgrades the riflemen, mortar teams, grunts, and raiders, everything has 2 2 upgrades. Here we have uh, archers with 1 1 and huntresses. Now, of course, the orc is 0 0. He doesn't have the war mill yet. He's building a war mill now. Just the upgrades alone. It's looking just great for Team Red, for Team Cash and Happy. We have um, supply wise, it's it's pretty equal supply wise. We have both players, both teams have a 78 supply player. And then we have uh, 68 for 56. Actually, Team Yellow has like 10 supply advantage, but you know, the, the orc units are 0 0. They do have the Devotion Aura, I guess, level uh, 2. Well, look at the Cluster Rockets. Is it level 1 or what? I'm not sure. Let's see if we place it down the Pocket Factory so I can see what level that is. Uh, there's another... I'm not sure. It's hard to... I don't know what how strong this spell is. It looks like level 1, to be honest. It looks pretty weak. If that's level 3, this spell sucks. Uh, we had this other Pocket Factory is this other uh, Tinker that placed it. I'm not sure, like... Uh, yeah, I mean, maybe, I mean, I'll, we'll see. I don't know. This, uh, the Naga here is beautiful. Sniping the mortar teams from the back. She sniped once. She needs four more. Oh, the mortar teams defending themselves, but Naga has a healing potion. The Tinker level six, everything is dead. We have uh, Sonic. He is Night Elf this time. And we have Bizarre, his orc. So, uh, yeah, everyone got a main race except for Happy. Predicted match three. I think, um,. Happy and Cash are gonna win. Yeah, nice. That was an easy prediction. I didn't even need to think about it. There's a, a random hero here for uh, for Happy. <laughs> and we'll see uh, a random hero here for Cash. Great. What, uh, what kind of healing fountain do we have? This is brown, right? So we know it's a healing fountain and not a mana fountain. Also, it's very bluish. So it's definitely a healing fountain. Oh, we have a TC. Okay, Cash with TC in 2v2. This is very normal. This is also how he plays when he doesn't play a random hero, random uh, random uh, race. Here we have a Farseer. Farseer. Okay. Farseer for happy. Here we have a Farseer again. We have a Farseer mirror for Sonic. And uh, Beastmaster here for Bizarre. TC is going to creep. He's going to creep this. Meanwhile, Farseer here with the Footman and two Footman actually. Finds a the Farseer there. Are, are they going to fight? Are they going to creep? What they're going to do? They're going to fight. Both the Farseers running, of course, from the Wolfies. 
Very typical Farseer against Farseer fight. Meanwhile, this uh, this peasant here takes some damage from the piggy. The piggy wants to kill him, and the Beastmaster as well, but the Fulham blocks the Beastmaster a little bit, but not good enough. The, the peasant does go down. TC just creeping, the uh, Farseer still running. And meanwhile, over here, the Farsha kills the Wolfies with the help of the Ancient of War. He already has 92 XP. He also crept this entire creep camp. In fact, I'm not sure if he got any of the Wolfies. 92 is. Uh, A player's forces are under attack. Hmm. It's TC at 144 XP. These mats are gonna creep over here. <laughs> killing all these uh, little gnolls. There's a Farsha here helping killing the gnolls. This no brute, he is so dead. The Beastmaster picks up the gloves of haste. And, uh. Oh. Happy is doing a great job here. Just doing, uh. I'm not. Just buying time. He has 0 XP still. But his arch is dead, so 40 XP just out of nowhere. Just when I say he has 0 XP, he kills the archer. The TC shows up. He's There's nothing left for him to do. The blade master, I mean the the the, the farsher and the beast master. Are they going to creep over Blade's here? Forces are under attack. Okay, well it seems like the DC and the farsher are going to creep the center. By the way, what units do we have? We have uh, hunter's hall with uh, ultra vision here for Sonic, so he can see in the dark now. His ally is doing nothing special. Same here. Great. He's stacking. He's not playing the tier one match gun style because his ally Happy is not in that. He's human. Human. A player's forces are under attack. Farsha just taking the fight against the dragon. Chaco, you <laughs> imitate the creeps dying. Amazing. Yes, that's why everyone uh, likes my stream so much. This TC stomps. Oh, and he does he surround? He surrounds uh, the Beastmaster, but the. TC was also kind of surrounded, so he, um, he might just his TC out. Beastmaster still very uh, okay, gets out just barely. The footmen they do have endurance aura, they're not like normal footmen. These footmen attack so fast, they move so fast, they kill these hunters. If there's a uh, no dust, but there's stomp, and stomp also reveals his hunters. And the hunters does die. This grunt here is Michael back, of course, beautifully, and he uses the heal solve. His footman, I mean, uh, yeah, footman. Speed scroll used here to save the grunts. Ooh. The piggy here. I mean, this, this this grunt can be hunted down by the piggy. That's what the piggy wants to do. He is so, so aggressive, this piggy. And if you can get that grunt. You can get him. He's going to be so happy. He can maybe cancel uh, one of the healing solves. Oh, he cancels the other one. Cancels uh, this one as well. There's a chain lightning. Wolfies as well. This uh, TC stomps and a lot of units, units did get hit. We have a warden second here for cash. Uh, together with the TC, they're gonna conquer the world, of course. This, uh, these two grunts here, Michael back, of course, they're not uh, useful. And we have uh, Farsir staffing in. What is Happy E doing, by the way? He's getting a hero. Okay, not doing that much. N not much yet. There goes Wolfie. But this, uh, this grunt is so low, 65 hit points. He gets shot 48 by the Rifleman. Shot again, he's down to 6, but the Rifleman is very... Yeah, low hit points, 303. Everyone wants to kill him. We have a ha 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 on the, arc, on the Farseer. But, you know, the Farseer TP's out, no problem. He is double, uh, going double Angel of Lore. We have an expansion here for Sonic. And, of course, we have Bestiary going up here for Bizarre. Also, a Wormill. And what is the Beastmaster doing here? Not sure. Oh, we have a Fire Lord here for Happy. So. <laughs> on the Hunters. The Grunt is definitely dead. He's uh, trapped. Didn't he? I guess he got XP here because he has 60 XP. That's exactly what you get for a Grunt. So a lot of summons here for Happy. Farseer, Fire Lord. Of course he's playing Human, so it makes a lot of sense. Uh, but his opponent is massing Dryads, so. Oh, not really that many Dryads. He's going to bears pretty fast. Drives are going to be great against the lava spawns, against the wolfies, against uh, yeah, that's it. He's got them, uh, maybe kill it. Yeah, he kills it. Piggy here is beautiful. This uh, lava spawn is being focused. Michael Becker, how many beastmasters do we get here for Bizarre? Yes, beastmaster first, beastmaster second. He just keeps getting BMs, first and second, same uh, same one every time. 
course it is retreating. Did he got a second hero already? I forgot. Do we have a second hero for Sonic? He's getting bears. I guess he doesn't get a second hero. Just solo uh, farce here. Well, we have a nice attack here. Double Beastmaster is, of course, uh, perfect to attack a base with. Someone's not a piggy. Oh, Beastmaster in trouble. There's some ensnares. There's a fight here, but oh, I'm not sure if Bizarre can win this fight here. He TPs out. This Grunt here takes a lot of damage. Can he kill it? But the ha ha ha, he can. And the TP out. The Raider survived. The TC is level 3 now. See, he's so strong. So strong. It's insanely strong. We have even more summons for the red team, by the way. So, Team Yellow also might want some dispel. He has uh, Spirit Walkers here. And we have Priests here, which are also going to be adapted at some point during this game. There's a Black bun, uh, black Gunpowder. I think you know you might uh, prioritize getting these uh, Priests to adapt. When you're playing against Wolfies, against... Uh, Bears with rejuvenation, you know, against uh, double beastmaster. This spell is going to be so powerful. There's no poacher. Is is he dead yet? The wisp here. What? Did you guys see the attack at the wisp? Wisp did die. This uh, this wolfie also dies. Of course, we have these bears. They're beautiful. This dry. Does he have this spell? I'm not sure. The bears are almost uh, master bears. Meanwhile, this base has been killed. And the wisps here on the floor. We have a flank attack. Double beastie uh, beastie area uh, beastie beast master. Killing the priest and the Kodo shows up as well. Okay, well, beautiful game. Cash going for Bizarre's main base. Does he have pillage? Well, we see uh, Bizarre upgrading pillage. And we see Cash also upgrading pillage. This is the pillage timing, guys. Everyone upgrade pillage. Someone will have to TP and save this base. Is it gonna be the Farseer? He doesn't have a TP. The Beastmaster TPs in. He has two gloves of haste and a potion of greater healing. A player's forces are under attack. And bizarre here, 50 spy. Cast at 50 spy. One grunt gets ensnared. The TC has level to stomp. There it is. Hits like four units. Yeah, four units, those four. Uh, this raider, though, is so dead. The Kodo is uh, just sitting there being ensnared. The same here with the other Kodo. We don't have enough dispel, I feel like, for the summons, but maybe we could try to dispel some. We have two piggies here that could be dispelled and one dispel. With two dispels. I mean, both the piggies uh, do go down. This uh, this bear takes so much damage. He's dead. This uh, I mean, the Kodo. Did I say bear? This Kodo should probably be focused by the piggies before he TPs out. Uh, piggies, come on, piggies. Hello. You do piercing damage. The only piercing damage in this entire army of uh, Bizarre. And uh, Bizarre at fifth. Uh, wait, forty-three supply. Cash. I'm not sure if he lost anything there. He's still at fifty supply. I'm sure he lost like, like one or two raiders. You know, but. But uh, Cash definitely won that fight, killing much more than he lost. We have an expansion going up here for Happy. Meanwhile, uh, Sonic creeping this. The Farsi does plus 12 damage. The Bears here do are 0 0 upgraded. Level 4 Farsi now. And the rest of them. Beastmaster's creeping. The Warden is still level 2 only. TC level 3. Farseer level... Almost level 3. Fire Lord level 2. There comes a Wisp. Uh, he wanted to scout his expansion, but he got killed. Poor little Wisp. He should uh, give these claws of, this Claws of Attack to the same Beastmaster that has the gloves. Okay, that's what he does. So this Beastmaster is pretty strong. Does a lot of damage. Just like the Farseer was... Uh, He's pretty close to level 5. Level 4, well, pretty close. Level 4.4. He has a dragon as well. He's definitely the highest level hero in the game right now. And he, that's a solo hero. So he gets uh, bonus XP. 30 extra bonus XP. So not some something we normally see on a Farseer. Because uh, right, only Elf usually plays solo heroes. And... Uh, no, normally you don't have a Farseer when we're playing Elf. Warden blinks. A player's forces are under attack. Well, this peon is scouted by the Wolfie. The TC is quite powerful there. Here are some wolves. 
But uh, there's dispel, not under priest, there's no dispel under priest yet. So the only dispel is this, uh, this one spirit walker. He does get the dispel on the wolfies though. But uh, yeah, maybe happy should have upgraded the dispel. This uh, farseer can summon some more wolves maybe. Those will be powerful, these wolves. One of them does get dispelled. Where's the other dispel? The dried, hello. This one has plenty of mana, but it just dies. Uh, bears are just so powerful. Dakota, is he hungry? The TC is super low. He has a uh, info potion using it. Dakota is not hungry at all. The warden, hello, don't stand in the midst of some uh, bears. Even demon hunters don't survive that. We know this from Night of Mirror. But uh, actually, she does survive for now because the, the grunt is taking all the damage. Okay, now the warden, uh, I mean, she's just fine. There's the bears, most of the bears there died. Uh, the warden is pretty low hit points, but she will be fine. The beastmaster, though, the bears are over here doing pretty okay job but the yellow army just looks so many layers deep well the the red army for bizarre and sonic is like only one layer deep well maybe one and a half well uh the yellow army oh look the warden she is gets surrounded by wolves but she blinks out nice blink there the the farce is so close to level five but it doesn't look good here for team red it does look like a three zero at this point the warden is actually gonna survive still or is she yep the, the Farsher, is he going to survive? He has the Info Potion and Sonic left the game voluntarily. And uh, the same will be done here by Bizarre in a moment. He's GG's out. And there is a beautiful GG, I think. Like, there it is. 